we don't have long, but I really want to get out of you how you can breathe with your partner for better sex. We want to stay in a parasympathetic state, especially as we get like closer to orgasm. And that just, a lot of times that's about like down regulating and slowing down the breath, even just like what you're saying you were practicing like earlier, like that long nasal exhale. That's like a bit longer than your inhale and slowing down the connection. It's like lengthening the space before maybe the final release comes, or it's like heightening the experience for both partners. If you feel nervous to sort of like try that in the middle of the act with someone, then you can always practice on your own first to see about like how breathing more slowly and parasympathetically can lengthen or height, heighten the experience and lengthen the time mm -hmm. to orgasm. I think sometimes men have like some like default thought. Tell me if I'm wrong here. Cause I'm so curious, <laughs> a default thought yes. that like, they're like, Oh, I might have an orgasm. So I'm going to think about this other thing. That's like kind of a turn off to make myself yeah. not go there just yet. Is that real? Is yeah, that a dead thing? puppies. Dead puppies. It's a real <laughs> yeah. thing. Like your mom, I it's, don't it's, know. It's like terrible advice word, that but... somebody gave us once upon a time. And again, it spread throughout all of mankind. I mean, all of men everywhere heard about this thing that if you uh, just, you can't last very long. Think of dead puppies or your, your aunt Mavis or something.